very pleasant good morning. Good morning. I'm Providentia Capital from the University of Delhi, India, and I'm here to present a soaring Asian brand which has brought about a revolution. To tell you the story of our brand, let's rewind to the year 2008. The financial pillars of the world fell apart, and the global GDP rates were at an all-time low. With negative investor sentiments, people did not want to park their funds anywhere. The reasons for which you can see on the left of your screen. The graph on the right shows the total investments in the payments division of the fintech sector alone was $0.16 billion globally, a big demotivation for any revolution in this space. In a gloomy landscape like this, one man in India, a country distant from the ideas of online payments, set up an app, brought about a digital transformation, thus becoming the youngest Indian billionaire. Sure, our brand started at a turbulent time, but why does that become such a big deal? With a population of 1.4 billion and with internet penetration rates as low as 5%, it was impossible to collectivize everyone in India. Yet, this brand did it. It started with an initial investment of $2 million, multiplying it 8,000 times to $16 billion, establishing global presence and most importantly, serving all strata of society. But what exactly did it do to achieve this? Here are some of the transformations this brand brought, from worrying about long queues at banks to having access to funds hassle-free on the go with a click of a button, from dealing with currency frauds to ensuring reliability, trust, convenience, and transparency, from not being able to monitor payments to having a track of all transactions. We believe India grew digitally with this brand. If you meet a smartphone user in India, there's a good chance they have this app on their home screen. Well, most of us do. They use it for everything from buying groceries and paying school tuition fees to selecting insurance products and getting loans. That being said, ladies and gentlemen, we team Providentia Capital introduce all of you to our brand, Paytm, a soaring Asian giant that is disrupting the Indian fintech sector one customer at a time. We will begin discussing Paytm's journey with the company overview using our business canvas framework that you see on the screen, wherein we studied Paytm's key activities, cost and revenue structures, key channels, resources, etc. Coming to Paytm's key activities, we have Paytm Wallet, an instrument where one can transfer money from banks and store it digitally. Paytm Cloud, an AI-powered suite of business-centric tools, Paytm Mall, which was Paytm's e-commerce initiative that we'll be covering later, Paytm Money, which includes Paytm's mutual fund services that offer financial investment options to customers. Paytm Gold, where one can buy, store, and sell gold digitally. And lastly, Paytm Relief Funds. Paytm's revenue streams include escrow services, digital gold, e-commerce, and unified payments, while costs incurred are for maintenance to ensure smooth user experience, R&D, marketing, etc. Apart from its app and website, it has partnerships with vendors and merchants and a mass social media reach, which is responsible for 450 million users with a growth of 275%. Paytm has agreements with the Central Bank of India, large-scale venture capitals, and tie-ups with various brands. Paytm's target market includes all individuals with a smartphone. Even after the entry of various competitors, it is a market leader. With 140 million active users and 600 million monthly transactions, this brand never sleeps. On the left side of your screen, you can see the BCG matrix, which is an internationally known growth share framework that positions brand based on market share in growth. It ranks Paytm as a star, placing it in the most favorable quadrant. Using the value discipline model, which deals with threshold and leadership value, reflects that Paytm has gained leadership in areas of product design and customer relations. Paytm's journey has witnessed certain turning points which have only led to constant innovation. We carefully analyzed Paytm's timeline and narrowed down to four turning points which we'll be discussing further. First in line is the QR code, a revolutionary move. Paytm was the first company to launch a quick response-based solution in 2015, following a scan-to-pay approach at zero cost. More than 100 million monthly transactions were recorded through QR in the third quarter of 2016. Today, Paytm is the first preference for over 5 million vendors and small merchants. From local stores to top-end hotels and malls, Paytm is now routine. Western giants have derived inspiration from Paytm's QR technology. Facebook's WhatsApp Pay and Google's Repay have initiated QR payments now. 
in 2016, the Indian government declared demonetization, announcing 86% of the currency notes in circulation as non-legal. In a country largely dependent on cash, this policy led to chaos. When everyone was forced to look for alternatives, Paydm came to the rescue. In less than 24 hours after the announcement, Paydm took the road to aggressive advertisement that led to an increase in traffic by 435%. It went from being one of the options to being a necessity of the hour. After the announcement, Paytm was launched in 10 different regional languages to serve the increasing demand. People were incentivized to move to cashless methods and Paytm facilitated this transfer. In just 12 days, 7 million transactions worth $15.92 million were processed via Paytm. 2017 saw another turning point with Paytm venturing out into new grounds. Imagine the largest shopping mall that you've been to. Now think of a mall about three times that size. Keeping up with the trends, 2017 saw the birth of a mobile marketplace, Paytm Mall. With 1,000 plus brands, 74,000 authorized retailers and 65 million products. This couldn't perform consistently as Flipkart and Amazon had already captured this space. Further, Paytm Mall's deep discount strategy was burning cash. Witnessing losses, Paytm decided to revamp the model. Eliminating the warehousing process, the updated strategy is now based on a hyper-local model with the main aim of focusing more on wholesale offerings. Through this updated strategy, it has mitigated 39% of its losses. 2018 saw Paytm's cross-border expansions. It has established its presence in countries like Canada, and Japan. Paytm provided its offerings internationally to Japan via PayPay through a joint venture with SoftBank and Yahoo. In just about a year, Paytm has clocked 25 million users and 100 million transactions. In a short span, PayPay has been the most popular download across platforms like Android and iOS in Japan with 19 million downloads. The success factors which serve as catalysts to disruption come from the turning points which made Paytm a true hero. Paytm's need gap analysis helped in identifying solving social pains and faced by the Indian customers. Acknowledging the inconvenience of making transactions offline, Paytm identified the what, when, where, and how of this social pain point and seamlessly introduced the idea of cashless transactions, thereby bridging the gap. The distinct marketing strategy used to reach out to masses ensured a great reach. As you can see on the screen, Paytm's marketing strategy involves unorganized offline merchants, online merchants, mass channels, and organized offline merchants that have resulted in increased audience outreach and have proved to be cheaper than digital advertisements. As mentioned earlier, Paytm Blog serves great engagement. Recently, Lays, the chips brand, appreciated Paytm for its services. Paytm CEO has played an active role in brand marketing, making Paytm a household name. Push notifications serve as constant reminders for the customers while acting as an efficient marketing tool. Paytm serves all the starters of the society using its expansive customer reach. 18 transactions per week per user reflects a strong user base. It has covered each level of the pyramid, getting everyone from the lower income bracket to the upper income bracket under the umbrella of its super app. Paytm as a brand follows a dynamic approach to deal with the difficult business situations, whether it was introducing solutions during demonetization or adopting the QR technology. It has displayed the ability to constantly adapt. Paytm followed the pattern while dealing with this global pandemic. Three minutes and left. An impact of the new services and marketing resulted in a solid 30% increase in transactions during COVID-19. The reason we're presenting this virtually. To facilitate contactless payments, Paytm launched the scan to order for delivering essential products. Investments are a huge motivation for any business. Here's a breakdown of Paytm's investment outlay. Our brand witnessed consistent large-scale funding from investors like SoftBank, Sai Partners, and Alibaba, reflecting investor confidence from all around the world. Moving on to challenges and recommendations. Today, around 40% of the rural population has access to the internet, which is great, but their digital and financial illiteracy bar them from using Paytm. Our threefold recommendation to Paytm would include creating awareness about digital literacy, introducing them to the idea of financial literacy, and finally combining the two to bring them under Paytm's user base. 75% of Indians are rural inhabitants. 
to inculcate a sense of financial management in them, it is important to target this group, which will help Paytm extend its services to these people. This would also help Paytm bring in new customers to create a stronger value chain and at last create a ground level impact. We also studied Paytm using a scuttlebutt approach, which refers to getting information about the organization, both from inside and outside the company, having elements like customers, competitors, employees, and top management. And this included interacting with the top level management, including the CEO of Paytm, visiting headquarters and gaining firsthand insights, interacting with the local vendors, and authenticating presence at high-end stores. With these ground level insights, we learned about the new strategies that Paytm is coming up with, holding it in good stead to maintain its position as a true market leader. The key learnings from Paytm's case reflect how values like customer centricity, innovation and adaptability, and persistence can help a brand soar. Further, strengthening social mobility and creating a tangible impact becomes really important. You might have been wondering what the counter in the top right corner is. The number, which now reads 3,100 plus, is the total number of customers that this brand has added under its umbrella in the last 12 minutes of us pre presenting this. This number fascinatingly includes people from the top floors of glass buildings to those living in temporary houses underneath it. And that in itself, ladies and gentlemen, is a huge win for our brand. Thank you so much. And we would now be open to any questions.